So we're working on a food forest and that is a form of perennial gardening. The intention of the project is to explore different means for growing food in small spaces and increasing access to fresh, healthy food. Um, it's also an opportunity to experiment with no-till and polyculture practices and what that might look like on a bigger scale in our agricultural system. And it gives students the opportunity to learn an alternative sustainable method for growing food. This is the e-garden, which is overseen by the Office of Sustainability here on campus. So myself and another student, Brendan Short, we decided to house the food forest here because it's a space that we're already really familiar with and it's um, also intentionally an experimental space for students to learn about agriculture and sustainable practice. It's a food forest, so it's a form of polyculture no-till gardening where we're using layers. We're starting with the ground cover and then you build up every layer of a forest all the way up to a canopy and everything in between. There are a lot of different concerns around monoculture, like growing a bunch of corn in a row on a massive scale. It's like a loss of biodiversity, it can lead to disease, it's part of the reason that we use a lot of different chemicals on our plants. And there's a lot of potential to shift to a more polyculture focused system. So this project is like a small scale experiment to kind of toy with these different benefits of doing polyculture, no-till, and layered gardening. It's definitely a learning process, but not only is this going to be fantastic for like the e-garden to have and for SUNY Geneseo to be able to rely on for food and education, but also for like myself, Brendan, and the other interns here, we're going to take these skills with us for the rest of our lives and like know how to do this kind of gardening in our own yard. So I, I would say that that's like a huge success of the project too.